Perfect. All right. Um, here we go. So to solve this problem up here, guys, one of our biggest problems that we have is dealing with fractions, right? Now, the main thing you guys got to remember with fractions is all fractions are is their division problem, right? A fraction is a number divided by a bottom number, correct? So we have division going on when we're talking about fractions. So this is a big fraction. Now remember, fraction is division. So what we've been practicing is doing inverse operations. So if I want to get rid of divisions, I'm going to want to multiply. I'm going to, well, I'm going to want to do what? And that's to multiply, right? So if I want to get rid of the 6, this is this y, y times z is being divided by 6, right? So to get to undo dividing by 6, I can multiply by 6. I'm going to multiply by 6 over 1 because 6 over 1 is still equal 6, but it's a fraction. Therefore, now when I divide and multiply, that cancels out to give me 1. So I no longer have a 6 on the right side. So now I'm just left with 6x equals y times z. Yes? Well, it's got to be a fraction. Why can't you just do by 6? You can multiply by 6. The reason why I'm showing it as a fraction is because some students did this when I saw their work. They multiplied by 6. Well, it's six, it's six, that 6 is a numerator. It's not a denominator. Because if you multiply by 6, it's really yz over 12. You know what I'm saying? you got to multiply it as a numerator. So that's why I put it over 1 to, to make sure you know it's a numerator, not a denominator. OK? You good with this? Mm -hmm. And then here's the same thing. You know, you just make them as numerator times numerator. These are all over 1, so they equal 6x. Then the actual problem they asked me to solve for which one? So that's the um, It wants me to solve for z. So then I look at this. What's happening to my z? It's being multiplied. multiplied. So to divide by, it's being multiplied by y, so I'm going to want to divide by y. So my final answer is z equals 6x over y. So you were getting me confused. But, like, where are you getting all this stuff from? All I'm doing is undoing what's happening to the variable. I'm trying to solve for z. Yeah. This z is being divided by 6. So to undo division, you do what? Multiply. Multiply. So I multiply it on both sides of the equation. Then again, now my variable is being multiplied by y. So to undo multiplication, you're going to have to divide. divide. So you divide by y on both sides. And now there's nothing you so, can you can't simplify this anymore. It's 6x divided by y equals z. So all any person, any person that that's in the front of z. They're going to be multiplied by if it's If it shows this, like a number right next to each other, then yes, it'll be multiplied. So you're going to have to undo that by dividing. Uh -huh. All right? So that's how you do that problem. We've got two more to go.